What's going on, everybody? Everybody hear me okay? Was everybody yes. see? Was every is there, was everybody seeing the slide? I just took it down, and I had music going. Was that working for everybody? Everybody, everybody hear everybody. and see? Yes. Awesome. Yep. If you would all take a moment and click on your name and edit your name on your screen and add your market center number, that would be appreciated. Not sure how to do that. Um, either your name on your screen. There's three dots. You can rename yourself. Add your name and then your market center number. And for those yeah. of you that are not on the screen, I'm going to request that you to turn your cameras on, please. Uh, I don't like talking to blank screens. So I'm kind of a stickler for that. If you've been on a call with me before, uh, these Zoom sessions that we do are valuable for everybody. And I love seeing everybody smiling faces. And I don't care if you're in your robe, drinking your coffee, got your hair in curlers, right? Haven't showered since the weekend because you were shoveling all day. Doesn't matter. Been there, done that. My, clit, my kids will bust into this room. And they will treat me like a jungle gym. That just happens. So if your kids squirrel into your room because they're not in school, um, there's no distance learning today because schools are closed, I think, for everybody. Um, that's quite all right. I do ask that you keep yourself muted. I'm getting a little bit of feedback, a bounce back echo, and I'm not sure if that's coming from me or from somebody else, to be honest with you. So I got to check my microphone. Um, but if you could keep yourself muted, if you got a question, uh, do your best. You can raise your hand. You can do that with the three dots and you can click raise your hand or you can throw something into chat. I do have other market center tech trainers on the call with me today. They will be monitoring chat. Um, I will we only have an hour each day. So I do my best to kind of get everything done in that one hour time frame. If you have questions around a specific topic that we're covering in here and now, um, the market center tech trainers will let me know that we have a question that needs to be addressed. If it's outside of what we're talking to at the moment, I do ask that we table those questions to the very end so we can kind of cover everything on the format for today. Does that sound good? Give me a thumbs up. I don't know right. what's going on. Yeah, do you guys know how to use thumbs up in Zoom? You click, right, participate. There's a thumbs up button under the three dots. Uh, I still see a lot of you have not entered your market center number next to your name. And we really need to do this because we're trying to track everybody. It makes it easier so we know who's been in attendance to training. So if you could click on the three dots 
next to your name and click rename, name yourself and add your market center number next to your name. Just like you see, Frank's got 541. You see, I've got the RTT moniker next to me. Ted's got his. I see Jeannie's got hers. Where can I find the, uh, the Three number? dots. If you hover over your screen, over your picture I, I, on your screen. I'm asking about the, the number, our number. Your market center is 949. Okay. I only know that because Raymond's in mine. So I don't have all your market center members memorized. Okay, thank you. All right, how are we on time? We are at 10 once. We are starting on time today. So good afternoon, good morning. And welcome everybody to this regional training event. So we are going to be moving forward on a two week rotational basis. We will cover one applet every single day, Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. And yes, these sessions will be recorded and added to our YouTube channel. We'll post them to Facebook after they've been recorded so you have a link. Your market center tech trainer will know where to find all these things. And in that rotation. So we're going to go this week. We'll be covering today will be orientation. Tomorrow will be contacts, then smart plans, then opportunities. So that'll be this week. Next week, we will cover consumer. Then we'll cover designs, campaigns, and referrals. Then we have family reunion in week three. And then in week four, we'll start all over again. So you are welcome to come to these trainings as many times as you like. They are free. They are there for you. As you all well aware, command updates weekly, daily. So we will constantly be adding new content to these classes as new rollouts, new parts, and new things come out of command. If we cover something today that you're not 100% certain of what the heck I'm talking about, because I do talk fast and we're going to cover a good amount of information, I want you to know that you all have a market center tech trainer affiliated with your market center. What is a market center tech trainer? Okay, the NCTT. That's your go-to person in your market center. Every market center except for one has one at the moment. And that is your go-to person for help, for support, for additional one-on-one -on -one training. Um, they're your in-house guru. If you're not sure who that is, ask your TL, ask your ASC, ask your DFI. We love our monikers in this company, right? Abbreviations. And if you're brand new and you haven't drank all the Kool-Aid yet, you'll catch up. All right. So with that, we're going to go ahead and get started today. Uh, welcome to GOAT548. He's one of our favorites. <laughs> and that's the great thing about screen names. You can be whoever you want to be, right? And names sometimes are just a frame of mind. Right, Matt Caudill? And Matt, your, your mark set number is 949, not 30. Mine is okay. What is it again? 949. All right. AWR30 is your brokerage number for okay. Bright. All right, 949, got 949. it. 949, there you go. So we all learned something new, right? Sherry's getting a kick out of this. We aim to have fun, right? And if you've been on classes with me before, you will know that nobody is safe. If I don't think you're paying attention, I will call on you. Right, Ted? Little shortcuts. If, if I do call on you, Spacebar is your friend. If you hold down the space bar, you can talk and all unmute yourself in the here and now. You don't have to fumble around and looking for clicking on mute. If you just click on the screen and hold down your space bar, it'll turn on your mic while you're talking and you let go and it'll shut yourself back off. So I'll try to uh, add a little bit of information to kind of educate you through different things as we go along, not just KDB command, because in the world that we're in right now, more times than not, you guys are probably on Zoom a couple times a day, if I had to imagine. I'm on Zoom calls, which seems like mostly eight to five now. <laughs> But that's okay. I get to see more people than I ever did before. I get to engage with more people. I get to meet more people. And I get to have a little bit of fun at the same time. So I do enjoy that. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. And uh, actually, before I do that, I, I want to give you guys a quick little update as to, to why. You know, why do we have KW Command? Right? Why did KW undertake this big financial investment for our associates. Well, there's, there's actually a really good reason. And I don't think everybody clearly knows why, understands. Some of you may not care, but that's okay. I'm going to share it with you anyways, right? So we had a lot of partnerships over the year. I've been with KW for 13 years now, right? We had a lot of third-party platforms that we integrated with. Market Leader, Dot Loop, right? They're just two of the top two. And a lot of times we talk about we hear about competition. We hear about other brokerages that may be out there. There, there are 
brokerages out there and they're local competition to a degree. Well, I don't think anybody can stand on two legs like we can, but I'm biased. I own it. But realistically, we were aware of the big Z, right? Zillow. And honestly, they're the competition as far as I'm concerned. And while we don't talk about it a lot, Amazon could be the competition too. Um, a real technology company yeah, what that has a platform may also may, you know, have some things that we have. Okay. But when we look at what we've done and why we've done it, there's a very specific reason, right? And it's because we were under attack. And what do I mean attack, right? Whoa. Zillow, at one point in time, bought the company Market Leader, which ran our CRM, which was our database platform, which was our marketing, which was our website. They bought them. I know a lot of people don't know that, okay? They had since been sold off by a company called Constellation, but so we were at risk. That happened first. Secondly, they bought a company that we used to partner with called Dotloop. Okay, a lot of you have used Dotloop over the years. Great contract writing company, uh, for digital signatures. I enjoyed them. They were very good. I'd been in their corporate headquarters. Great company. However, they got bought by Zillow. So what does that mean to us? So if Zillow owns the companies that we utilize on a day-to-day -day basis, then our data is at risk. I don't care what pledge dot loop has, right? Zillow has access to that information. So when the contracts and things went down, KW had to make some radical decisions and that was building a platform for our associates to use. Hence, that's how Command was, was born, okay? Now, yes, we use a platform called DocuSign, which is still a third-party platform, but as we build and grow, we can't build everything as fast as we would like. And the transition to DocuSign, which is not this class, right, today, isn't everything we had previously, but it was a necessity to protect our associates, to protect our data, from Zillow. So I just wanted to kind of start there as so, so you guys understand the why we're on the journey. Look, Gary could be on a beach with his friend Jimmy Buffett drinking pina coladas in Key West, Florida. He doesn't need to do this. Okay. He's fighting the good fight. Like he's taking on a juggernaut and turning us into a juggernaut at the same time. And sometimes that's a bumpy road. But if we understand the big why, we understand that he's truly looking out for us. And I will tell you, I work with a lot of you guys. Um, I understand your business. I respect your business. And I, and I understand where you just want to do good business. I get that. But I think if you have a, an understanding as, okay, I see why we're doing this and what he's doing and the company is doing for us, then maybe we'll have a little bit of understanding as to, to where we're going. We do our best to update you, keep you information, and that kind of comes down from the regional level, which is my position, the regional tech trainer, as well as the Mark Center tech trainer for Falls Church. And I work with the Mark Center tech trainers that represent the 28 Mark Centers in our Virginia, West Virginia region. So we could always do things better. Communication is something I think we always struggle with. And I take ownership of that to try to give you guys the best up-to-date information as I can. And we will continue to do that through training and through our network channels, our Facebook page, our regional YouTube page, We'll give you links to different things and down into your market centers at your at your local meetings because up once a week your market center tech trainers get up to speed of what's what we're doing and where we're coming from. But with that, we'll jump into today's class. So I'm going to go ahead and start my screen share here. I want to make sure everybody's seeing these slides okay now. We're good. Thumbs up. Awesome. All right, so tech orientation, day one, that's today. So today, we're gonna to teach you guys how to log in, where to access, what do you have at your disposal from command, okay? This is a screenshot. If you want any of these, your market center can get you some of these and we'll post some of these uh, things so you have access to all of them. Uh, Derek and Ted or anybody else that's online, as I mentioned or shared links, if you don't mind uh, throwing those into chat so people can kind of grab those, bookmark those and utilize those for later, I would appreciate it. But this is a list of the market center tech trainers for every single market center in the region. So just kind of take a quick look, find your market center on there and jot down the name of the person that represents your market center in case you don't know who they are yet. They're gonna be your best friend, I promise you. 
All right, next slide. Bookmarks, access points. So as you're building on, here's a couple of links that I started to reference. So our email platform, we're gonna talk about this, is through Gmail, right? So to access your KW email, you can actually access that through Gmail. KWConnect.com is a training platform that we utilize, essentially is our YouTube channel, right? That's just for KW Associates. So that's kwconnect.com. Now, Connect itself, where you access and where you're going to work every single day in your business and on your business, is actually agent.kw.com. Agent.kw.com. And you're going to need your user ID and password for that. All right. Next slide. And then we'll share those. And but what I want you guys to get in the habit, maybe a, a great thing to do is, is bookmark these links. So like when I log in every day, I have under my Chrome settings, which reminds me, I should remind you all, when you're working inside of KW's ecosystem, you're gonna to wanna to use Chrome. So if you don't have Chrome on your desktop or your laptop or your phone, I want you to download Chrome, C-H-R-O-M-E, okay, as your browser of choice. And that's same for you Apple users, right? I don't pass any judgment on here. I know there's Apple users. It's okay. We don't, we don't point fingers, right? We don't make fun. Maybe just a little bit. Um, I'm, I'm a PC guy. Just saying it was once told me once. And I've told that when we all grow up and we become business people, we'll, we'll migrate away from Apple. Right. That's funny. Right. That was a funny thing. Ha ha. Funny, funny. Thumbs up. You get me. Anyways, it's all good. So Apple, you can still use Chrome, Firefox, Safari, they don't work as well. So that's why we talk about that. All right, next slide. Technology support and self-advocacy, right? We all love training. I know you all love training, right? Because you're all here today and I appreciate that. But you all need to know where to get help. And yes, Greg, all this information will be, be shared uh, after this event. Your market search secretaries will have all these links and everything for you too. But here's a couple other items that I want you to take note of. And if, you know, if Derek or Ted or somebody could just kind of throw these links into chat so if everybody can copy them, I would appreciate it. Answers.kw.com. Think of that as Google, okay, for everything about command. All tech. Answer.kw.com. Command help. Inside the command platform itself, there is help. There's chat. There's links that tie back to answers.kw.com. Okay. KW Connect is that YouTube channel that I mentioned for KW. It's not YouTube, it's KW Connect, but it's a lot of video trainings and support. We're going to look at each of these elements too. Every one of our market centers in the region utilizes Scott Leroy Marketing. Okay. There's a scottleroymarketing.com. Okay. It's a YouTube, or sorry, it's a training element, onboarding element that a lot of our offices use. And you all have a free login to them. If you go to scottleroymarketing.com and you click login, your market center number is your password. So it's going to be important for you to know what your actual market center number is. And if you don't, ask your market center tech trainer, ask somebody in your office that we can point you in the right direction for that. We also have a YouTube channel for the region. So if you actually search KWVA WV Region 12 on YouTube, you'll find our regional uh, YouTube channel. And then we have a Facebook group, which many of you belong to now. You can search for KWVA WVA Tech and that are, will be our regional Facebook group. That's a great place to go if you're looking for information because the Market Center Tech Trainers will help answer, other agents help answer questions and support. There's a lot of great people doing a lot of things inside of KW, inside of Connect, I mean. And we share, right? We're a sharing company. That's why we are number three in Forbes, 33 I think is the number, on Forbes top training list. Could we support and help each other? It's an incredible thing to be a part of. So if you know something and you know the answer to something, help, help somebody out in your market center in the region. And if you're not sure, be careful of the information you share. And we always come from positivity and contribution, just like we always talk about for our consumers, right? That's how we look at each other. We come from contribution and we keep a positive mindset. All right. Support. When you have a support issue, right, they do exist. Okay, sometimes things challenge. I will tell you on Tuesdays, KW does a lot of uploads on command. So it may be a little sluggish on Tuesdays. 
If you're having a challenge with something, first thing I want you to do is contact your market center tech trainer. Okay. They know how to decipher, are you having a training issue, right? Recognize that you may not know everything yet. You're going to learn over time and usage is the best solution to most things, but they're going to help you understand here's how you do something. If you don't completely understand that you may think something's broken. Two, you may be looking for command to do something, but it's actually a feature quest. So it might be something that command doesn't do yet. There's a way inside of command for you guys, okay, to make recommendations, changes, enhancements, improvements, or new things on a channel called ideas.kw.com. Ideas.kw.com. You can actually go in there and vote up ideas that you would like to see inside the platform. That's where we're able to say, and this is true, a system built for agents by agents. I will tell you that Jason and Gary and David, okay, get on calls every Monday at KWRI in Austin, not this David, David Maurice, and they actually go through the ideas.kw.com uh, ideas and see what our agents are saying and we'll see what they're recommending. So don't think you are not heard because you are. I can completely assure you of that. Now, the last thing of the three that I mentioned, training, feature request, is an actual support challenge. Sometimes you need to file a support ticket. You can do that on answers.kw.com and all the way at the top, it says submit a request. That's how you actually submit a, a ticket, okay? If you're not sure how to do that, or if you're actually having challenge, I do prefer that you contact your market center tech trainer first because they may be aware of something that's going on to help you fix it so you don't have to wait. Uh, we do have chat inside of command. Here's the problem with chat on command. 180,000 agents worldwide, okay? When they don't know something, they go to chat, which is good. 85% of the chat challenges and why we have time delays are training related challenges. They're not in a sense, essentially ticket challenges or their feature requests, right? So that's why I said contact your market center tech trainer first and they can put you in the right. And it might be getting on chat. It might be submitting a request. It might be a ticket. And if it is a ticket worthy item, don't assume that's affecting everybody. Always submit the ticket, okay? Always contact them and let them know you're having that issue. So they can attach you to it. And as changes or improvements or updates are made for that fix, you're kept in the loop. So it's always good to submit a ticket when all else fails. All right. All right. Now we're going to take a quick look at mykw.com. All right. So I'm going to bring this up on the screen here. So mykw.kw.com. That's our older platform, okay, it was built, it's called eEdge. And we're migrating away from that into command. Has everybody seen this, my kid up here on the screen now that you say I brought in a new tab? Okay, awesome. There's a couple of things I wanna point out on here. There is a profile button on here that you guys will want to make sure is up to date. Now, when you're new, Scott Leroy sets a lot of this up for you, but you always wanna fill in the rest of these blanks. Okay, that helps you be found on Google and helps you be found inside of KWRI's ecosystem from a referral system. So make sure your email address, your bio, there's a couple of places we're gonna put a bio as we merge platforms together. You'll hear me talk about bios a couple of times. Bios are important, write a bio, right? Understand that there's a full length bio, which might be four to six paragraphs for you. Then there's a one paragraph bio, which should summarize the four to six pages. And then there's that 165 character bio that we're able to put on apps, right? Essentially for me, it looks like trainer, realtor, dad, golf, and hockey. That's me in a nutshell, right? It's crazy that you can summarize yourself in five words on 165 characters, but that's what some of the applications demand from us. So I always like to say, hey, write long form and then back out of that. So depending on where you're putting information about yourself, you've got a full paragraph, you've got a full write up, or you've got small character count. So always good to fill out these profile pages and make sure that that is complete for you. If I come back to the home screen, under technology, you're gonna see a couple of dropdowns. 
KW email. So when you first launch your KW email, I mentioned it is a Gmail platform. You're at kw.com email, David Donaldson at kw.com. Okay. It's Gmail. So I can log into Gmail to access all my email. You don't have to come in here. But you actually have this managed profile or managed KW email in here where you can forward, right? If you're not using that on a day to day, you can forward that to another email address, right? And you can also change your KW password. This is your KW email password, okay? You all have a user ID and password, which gets you into all your KW systems except for email, because that's a Gmail platform. You might make your password the same, right? Be secure. But that's what this is. Okay, now let me pause real quick and talk about email. Most of you have a free mail, right? When I talk about a free mail, what do I mean? AOL, Hotmail, Gmail, Livewire, Outlook, right? Free mail. You're all business owners. Congratulations. I don't know if you realize it yet, but you're all individual business owners. Brand yourself accordingly. You should not be communicating with your consumers with a free mail email, right? Take your business seriously. So at a minimum, you should be responding to everybody or talking to everybody with your David Donaldson at kw.com because that's just who you are. Also remember that, that ending, that domain at kw.com says something. It says where my business is, right? I'm a realtor. I'm with KW. Now, you may have a branded email. If you have a website, does anybody have an own their own domain name? Okay, I do, revolutionre.net, okay? If you're a licensed realtor, you can have a business entity. Now, I'm gonna share some information with you that if you go this route, promise me you'll talk to your brokerage before you do anything like this. You can brand yourself as a business entity if you are one. What does that mean? You have to have more than one person in your organization Okay, to be a team, you cannot just start advertising yourself as Donaldson Realty Group. It sounds good, but I can't do that if I am not that, which means what? The file with the SEC, the, corp, uh, the Virginia Corporation Commission, right? I have to have an LLC. That LLC has to be attached to my license in Richmond, and my brokerage has to agree to it. Then I might have a subdomain or a domain for my business that allows me to have a G Suite account. And they're a branded email other than KW. This is not that class. I want to share some information with you. If you want to go that route, talk to your broker, but know that that is an as avenue for you to go. So free mail, free email, free mail, bad. KW email, good. Branded email, great if you're ready to go that direction. Thumbs up. Awesome. All right. Um, underneath technologies where you can also change your KW password. However, this is where you would go to change your KW password. If you knew your password to get in here in the first place and you just want to change it, if you're locked out and you don't know how to change your password, you can't do it here because you can't get in. Okay. On your agent.kw.com login screen, there's a forgot password. That forgot password Okay, if I come back to my home screen, we'll send you an email. Go back here. If I click on your my profile, at the bottom it says password recovery email. So if you ever click forgot email on that login screen, okay, for kid one, you need your user ID. Okay, so you, if you don't know what it is, make sure you guys write down your user ID. Whoop. And then make sure you know where your recovery email is. Because then you're going to get a password reset from KW. Say, here's how you recover your password email. All right. That's important. And what I would make sure that if you're not sure of your KW email, I don't necessarily set recommend setting your reset email, go to your KW in case you're locked out of that too and your password's the same for all. So that recovery email might be going to that free Gmail account. I recommend making it outside of the KW ecosystem. All right. Minimize this. 
So this is mykw.kw.com. Make sure your profile is complete that we just walked through, right? We talked about how to change your email or know where or find your email and how to reset that. There's a white page profile search, which is showing there's an agent. Oh, that's spelled wrong. Back office agent and intranet. Okay. So inside. of the white pages or uh, the edge. The very bottom, we have white pages. So white pages is a way that you would actually look up other agents in the company, right? And basically what you're gonna see is a modified version of their profile page. So if I actually click white page, I'll pop it up for me. Basically, I would see a search filter. It's coming on my other page. Oh, oh I know why. Switch. It doesn't want to open up for me at the moment. Anyways, trust me when I tell you, when you click on white pages, oh, I know why. It's because it'll show, it'll open up in a new window. See, now I've got 20 of them. Wasn't thinking. It'll open up in a new window. That's why you're not seeing it. But you'll be able to search for agents by name or by market center or by position, it's just like the phone book. So when you're putting information about yourself, it'll show up on there. And I have to close some of these windows and I have too many of them. And just the way I'm screen sharing right now, you're not seeing this additional pop up. That's why. It's like if you want to find a an agent in different states, you can go to you can start, you go by way pick now next week's class on thursday we're going to go over referrals and there's a better way to do it but the white pages is a quick look up if you knew somebody you were like looking for their contact information i would use white pages if you're looking to refer somebody business and you don't know somebody in a particular area we're going to cover that next week on referrals okay also your market centers might be utilizing your intranet, your intranet might house your market center calendar, training events. So also in your market center calendar, you can go in here and come oh, It's the fault of the wrong market center. I just changed this. Change. The problem with I'm in multiple market centers is there's a lot of bouncing around. So I'll have a calendar of events. This is showing Falls Church, but I can actually go into my profile up here for back office agent set my preferences, and I can have this sync to my Gmail calendar. So if you have trainings in your Mark Center, you want them to sync to Gmail or iCal, you can go under your intranet, click on your face me up right hand side, preferences, okay, and connect them to your calendar. If you have trouble with any of this, who are you going to contact? Anybody? Market Mark Center Technology. Nice, MCTT, spot on. All right. Well, let's say that I have a, I have a, an action is required for my email address. Okay, well, we won't be able to troubleshoot on this call at the moment, Raymond, but after the call, you and I can kind of walk through some things if necessary. Okay, thanks. Yeah, sorry guys, in this type of training event, I can't deal with one individual break off, but so you guys understand, but. Your Mark Center Tech Trainers, and for Raymond, I am yours. We can get together after for anything we need to troubleshoot. All right. So let me come back to my slides, see where we're at here. Multiple screens isn't always the way that it sounds good sometimes, but it's not always what we're looking for when we're trying to communicate everything through. All right. The next platform that we're going to look at is kwconnect.com kwconnect.com so i'm going to go ahead and bring that up on the screen here so i'm going to minimize a couple of these other ones let me drag that up here so i have it all right kwconnect.com now you may have heard about this, you may even see KW Connect tied to command. And to a degree, 
they're moving in this. And I know right now I'm showing you a couple of different platforms. They are working on migrating everything, but that's why you have multiple ply profiles right now because not everything is seamlessly tied together. So that I apologize for, but tech happens, right? And tech develops. So kwconnect.com. So if you remember in the beginning, I said, this is kind of like YouTube, but just for KW. So on the right-hand side, you'll see a profile for yourself. So you just kind of have to go through the steps of adding your profile, put your contact information, right? This will start to time. Now this profile on here, other agents see. We have an agent to agent talking profile, which will apply in our referrals class that we're gonna have next week. So it is important that you fill this out completely, just like anything online about yourself. I don't care if it's on Zillow.com, Realtor.com, Houses.com, anywhere you can put a profile about yourself, please make sure it's complete, okay? Headshots, logo, branding, name, email address, because that all helps you, even on those free sites, right? So they, it does help you. So make sure that your profile here is complete. Now, across the top, I'm going to point out a couple of things, but afterwards, I want you guys to kind of go in and check a couple of things out, get comfortable with this, but I'm going to point out the high high important things for you guys. So there's a calendar. So that internet calendar that I mentioned earlier, will push forward to you here. So you can also see what's going on in your market center on this calendar. You can also see what your region is doing. Um, it's going under a little development. The region will post trainings too, and you can filter by regional events or filter by KWRI events on this calendar, okay? Under resources, a couple of big things here. There's a welcome new associates tab. Now, a lot of the training that we're going to do over the next two weeks will address things that are here. But earlier in the class, we talked about self-advocacy. Some of you like to just wait for the classes. Some of you are scared to death by tech. I actually don't like the word technology, to be completely honest with you. I don't even like it that it's in my title because it implies different things. Think of technology in our ecosystem as nothing more than leverage. It's a tool in your toolbox. It's a hammer. It's a screwdriver. It's a chainsaw, right? Might be a notepad and paper. It's something to make your life a little bit easier. It's not complicated. It just does a lot. Okay? And that's what's over. It's the overwhelmingness that's hard. The actual utilization is not a challenge, right? It's the knowing of where to go and get everything. And that really just comes through repetition. Practice. You have to practice your profession. You've got to practice on the tools that you have. So these classes will allow you to do that. But however, this welcome, right, with these hot links, go to different aspects and different trainings that you could leverage that or go back and look at outside the time we're all together. Self-advocacy is key. Also under resources is a connect live calendar. KWRI, twice a day. As training, people like myself or other trainers in the company will do trainings just like we're doing right now, but on a larger company scale. So imagine this room, but 700 people in it, right? It's more of a webinar than it is a meeting, but I am able to train or other trainers are able to train to specific applets just like this that you see. Now, they're not everything on here is command. You'll see tomorrow, Tuesday, they're doing opportunities. We're going to do opportunities on Thursday but you are able to attend these events too and learn from other trainers. The great thing about watching other trainers, so we all focus on things a little bit differently, right? So there's some nuance to what we have. Now, locally, I can address local challenges, regional issues that are different for us than anybody else. So that's the strength in a local, right? Local training. But so what I recommend to everybody is two things. Sundays, so I do my 411 for the week on Sundays. If you know what a 411 is, talk to your leadership. Two, I look at my schedule for the week. What do I have going on? Block, a time block. What training is going on that I want to attend? A time block for that too, right? So I'll look at Command Live, Connect Live, sorry. And I'll look at the regional training calendar and I'll time block those events. So I know what's going on and I can attend what I want to attend. Now, sometimes we have multiple things going on. I can't attend everything. Well, just like our regional things that will be recorded and posted to the YouTube channel, there's command live on demand. So usually within about 48 hours after an event that KWI is hosted, 
they'll post that recorded training into live on demand right here. Okay, so you can go back and watch it. Right, we're, we're not hiding from you. There's a lot of people that learn different ways and learn live to learn by watching videos. Some people learn by going through fact pages and step by step tutorials. So we do our best to give it all to you, which is hard, but we do our best. I just want you to know what's available to you. Right. So that was connect live and welcome new associates under technology. There's another element here that's great for that self advocacy. It's called command your business. Okay, so under command your business is a smaller bite sized approach. Okay, to training broken down by applets. You see here it's command your database. Okay, there's also team training up here too. I recognize some of you may be on teams. Command fundamentally does the same whether you're on a, if you're a solo agent, individual agent, or on a team. It's just how it's interconnected on the team side that makes some small adjustments. Most of our training here is going to focus on the individual agents. I will highlight certain things that apply to teams when I can. All right. But there's team training here. And it's just like command training. So if you were to come through here and you'll see there's learn more or recommended training, it's broken down by different elements. Smaller videos around smaller bite-sized elements for, versus an R one hour class will cover a broader topic. So this is a way for you to go back, digest, right? To come back in from shoveling the driveway, have a cup of coffee or a glass of wine, you might wanna learn how to connect with your sphere or build your database for a couple of minutes. So this is a great resource for you. So command your database, all right? Incredible, incredible information for you guys in here. Oh, clicked on the wrong screen. All right. So those, those are the big ones. You'll see there's a lot of other things in here. Uh, I can't cover everything, but you can get lost in here, which is fine, right? Take your time, go check. There's so much stuff in here. I just wanted to highlight the big ticket items, right? The Connect Live calendar, uber important. Command your business, uber important. Welcome new associates, I find incredibly important. Okay. And then if you actually have questions on marketing or where to get certain logos, you can get those under the marketing tab. There's logos and branding under there. There's a, there's a 33 page document that tells you all the legalities around how to use the KW logo, my market center logo around my personal branding. Now, if you're going to tie your personal branding to things, what did I say earlier? Who should you talk to? TL. TL and maybe your compliance broker. Right. I'm not a broker, although I did not sleep in a motel late last night. Bad joke, I know. But always get approval from somebody before you go out and spend money. And unfortunately, I have met people that have spent good money and they're out of compliance. And I don't want that for you. So we, this is not one of those cases where I do and then I ask for permission. When it comes to spending money and being legal on certain things, it's not where I want you to be. So always check with your broker if you're not sure, okay? So can I be connect? So we talked about all these access points, connect live, connect on demand, and welcome new associates and setting up your profile. All right, we're rolling along pretty good. We're gonna take it now, we're gonna jump into KW command, which is agent.kw.com. Okay, agent.kw.com. All right, let's so minimize this. All right, so I'm going to pause real quick. Is there uh, Derek, Ted, um, Jerry, anybody that's monitoring the chat? Are there any questions that have come up that you guys want me to address at this point before we dive into setting up command itself? No? All right, awesome. No, I'm not seeing anything. All right, thanks, guys. All right. So agent.kw.com. So when you log in here, your user ID and password will bring you to this screen. This is your home screen. I'm going to give you a very quick synopsis of everything that's in here, okay? And then we'll dive deeper as we go through our training classes. So think of your cell phone, right? Your cell phone is a platform. Command is a platform in the cloud. You can access this anywhere. Phone, desktop, another computer, PC, doesn't have to be yours, right? Your Uber User ID and password will get you into the platform. Just like your phone, you have different apps. 
We call them applets. They're all down here on the left-hand side. So home is your dashboard display. Contacts is your CRM, right? Your database. Tasks are, what do I have to do today? Who do I need to call? What has to happen? What's in my future? What's in my past? It's your checklist, right? I use Google tasks, right? But there's tasks and command too. Smart plans, set it and forget it. Although intentional and purposeful communication with people in my database, it sends out emails. It tells me I have to call somebody. It'll send out texts and triggers and emails. Things will happen automat automatically for you, right? After you've configured them. Referrals, do I have outbound referrals, right? Have I referred somebody to somebody somewhere else? I don't know if you guys realize it, but we are the largest referral company in the world. Think about that. We have 180,000 agents passing referrals back and forth to each other. Just last month, I closed on a deal in Naples, Florida and Gainesville here in Virginia, neither of which was I involved with, but I referred that business out to other KW associates, okay? Opportunities. Who has a whiteboard in our office? Hands up. Who's got a whiteboard, right? Whiteboards are great until they're not, right? Because here's the problem with whiteboards. You got to update them all the time, right? Well, you got to erase, you got a black marker on your, on your forearm here, red and black. You got to change the dates. You drag your hand across it. Opportunity is your digital whiteboard. Everything that's on your whiteboard in your office, I just saw Matt Cottle looking up to see what was on his, right? You can have a digital whiteboard through command. You're going to learn all about that. Campaigns, right? E structured emails. You hear a lot about Facebook advertising. That all happens through campaigns. Reports. Well, what good is all this information if I can't run reports? There's some fundamental and basic reports that are available to you right now. That's something that over time will really dramatically change. And it's all based on the amount of information that you provide in your system. It's only as good as the information you share with it, right? But reports is a really, really valuable tool for you going forward. Designs, flyers, postcards, social media. Anybody familiar with a system called Canva? Right? That's what designs is. It's not Canva, but it's our version of Canva, only better because it's plugged into the KWLS, which is plugged in the MLS, which means all of your listings, all of your photography, all of your information for those listings are available to you without having to upload them to Canva to create flyers. Just told you all of your listings there and consumers where your app, okay, your KW app, your Kelly app, your consumer app, and your website creation are all housed. Just so you know what you're looking at there on the left-hand side. We'll take a deeper approach in that as we work our way through each applet. Now on your digital display here, I just want you to know that your screen might look differently than mine. And the reason that is, is because you have this customize button on your home screen where you can change what's showing up on your home screen by order of importance for you, right? Command is incredibly customizable and it's intentional to allow you to create your own experience and interface, right? We all want to see things differently. We allow you to do that. So just on the home screen alone, there are certain things that you can turn on or turn off. So that you'll, this will be a, a common course as we go through. You'll also see things on the left and, on, and then on the right, you can move them around. So the, we've got these tiles here. When you see these six grids, you can drag and move things around. If I turn something on, like notepad I just there. Now I see it on the right. And what I set it up for on the right hand side, and then I click apply, then I'll see a live change on my home screen. So just a little quick thing for you to know about that's available to you. I want to walk you through a couple of important settings inside a command, okay? At the top right, you'll see your name. I'm in a demo account right now, but you'll see your name. Then you're going to see profile. There are two profiles in command. Here's your agent to agent facing profile, which is what this profile is. And I know it's a little confusing, so I, I, I want to take a moment to explain that. That agent to agent profile is for that consumer. And that's pulling from that KW Connect profile. They talk to each other. Okay? This is not the profile that the general public sees. That's in a different place. We'll talk to that in a minute. Then you have settings. Settings are the important things inside a command that you will configure. We're going to walk through those. Command training is for your ability to kind of, if I click on this, it takes me to clickable training, which will direct me back to some videos and recordings that are inside of command your business, which I showed you how to access that directly 
inside of command. And then you can log out. Also, we have across the top, we have this little question mark. When you click on that question mark, you see guided tours, KW University, and chat, and post an idea. Well, we covered some of this. I'm going to work from the bottom up. Post an idea will take you to ideas.kw.com. So you can vote on or recommend something new to the platform or a change. Chat with support is essentially that. It's chat with support. Well, sometimes you wait in the queue because of what I told you earlier, which was a lot of the agents that go to chat are there because they don't understand how to do certain elements. So I don't want you to sit and chat for an hour. So that's why I tell you to how to self-advocate for yourself, to look things up, then contact your market center tech trainer if available. They're not always available, right? Or leadership. And then go to chat if, if necessary, or you have the time to work at your desktop and wait. So that's chat. KW University will take you to like where you'll find different courses and trainings and additional information. So you can click on that and take a dive. Guided tours is something that's relatively new inside of command. And there's nothing there at the moment. It might because I'm, I'm in my demo account. That's why you're not safe. But on yours, you'll see different applets and training. And these little purple bubbles will show up to give you step-by-step -step tutorials of command. And what's really cool is anytime we roll out something new, we have these guided tours. I clicked it here, so it opened for me. To say, hey, this is new, or you haven't experienced this yet. And you can walk through how to do things. So this little guided tour will take you through certain things. And they're building out more and more and more for the learning management system inside of command. That's intuitive for you based off of where you are in the platform and the information it thinks you want to know based off of where you are. So guided tours was something came out that's really, really cool. All right. Profile is agent to agent. You can edit this here, right? Now, remember, I told you this is the same profile that's tied to your KW Connect profile. And I'm in my demo account, so it doesn't always work as well in there. We're going to jump down to settings. Inside of settings, let me just refresh my screen real quick. We'll see a couple of things on here. We'll see our DocuSign integration. Now, depending on what you've set up so far, the screen might look a little bit different to you than it does for me. Some things are turned on, some things are turned off, so it'll vary a little bit. But I'll walk you through what each of these are so you know. And then when you start connecting things, you, you'll have a little bit of an understanding. And again, your marks are tech trainer or Scott Leroy would have set some of this up for you, but at least you have an understanding of what some of these things mean. DocuSign is our, is our contract library that's free and available to all of KW. Okay? You don't have to use it, but it is available and it's free to you. Right? Some people still use other platforms and that's okay. We don't care, right? We are giving you a tool to utilize in your business and there'll be trainings on that, right? So your office probably typically has DocuSign trainings. Uh, I don't have any on the calendar for this call, but I'll look at putting something on that around that as well. So DocuSign is your digital library. You should have login and password set up for that. Social, Facebook. You're gonna actually see two Facebook lists here. So you're going you're gonna to connect two for two different reasons. One, we have post scheduling, which this says here. So our platform allows you to post and schedule information to go to your business page, right? So maybe you structure out your week and you want different postings to go on your business page. This is business page only that you can set up on Sundays or Mondays and it'll schedule out throughout the week. Maybe you're going to put birthday announcements. Maybe you want information about your lender. Maybe you want to post something about training months. Maybe you want to post neighborhood information, whatever that is, you can schedule that out. So that has to be connected to your business page. So we'll pause there. You have to have a business page. You can't connect your person. You will connect through your personal page. That's your login for Facebook, but it will connect to your business page and it will only allow you to post to your business page. And you can only run Facebook advertising if you have a business page. If you don't have a business page and you, get, and you don't know how, you can do two things. You can Google a search for how to create a Facebook business page, or you can get me the Market Center Tech Trainer and they can walk you through it. Maybe there's a class on that coming up in your Market Center, or maybe something we can also do from a regional standpoint. But you have to have a business page to connect through command. 
Google Calendar right now, that's just a quick link. So if you set your calendar here, it won't auto populate. It'll redirect if you ever click calendar under some of your settings. But at some point in time, things will start to tie and integrate a little bit better where our tasks, right, will start to show up in Google. When? I don't know. But we're starting to see those things start to happen on the back end. That will be fairly basic to a degree, but it'll give us insight of things that might be coming at a later date. Gmail and also 365. This is your email connection that we use in our day to day. So for your KW email or your Gmail, which we talked about, right? You can connect your Gmail email, whatever that is, your free mail, your KW or your branded one. And when you email through that system to your consumers, those emails are tracked and listed that you sent them an email to their contact record. You can only connect one Gmail account. We, there's a request to have multiples, but right now you can only connect one. So if I email Ted for my KW email, every email I email Ted, it will log that I sent Ted an email into his contact record that I have for him in command. You guys will see that when we take a deeper dive into commands, but that's what this integration means. It's tracking your emails for you so you know when you reached out to somebody via email. Understand that I'm not emailing from command, I'm emailing from my Gmail, but it sees that and records that I sent him an email. PySync, it's a high level of communication tool, but if anybody's using a third party CRM tool right now, PySync allows us to connect with some of those third party tools and pull that data inside a command. It's part of our, our infrastructure, what we call an API, that it talks to other platforms. It does not talk to all, okay? If you think you need to incorporate PySync, we'll talk a little bit more later, but we'll touch on that. And then I would redirect you to talk to your Mark Center Tech Trainer if you think that's something you need. Facebook Ads Manager, okay, is that I'm going to post a paid ad to Facebook through campaigns, but I have to have my business page connected. That's what the ads manager is. There's the same thing for a Twitter ads manager and a Google AdWords if you utilize it, you can connect to those. You hear, we will talk mostly about Facebook because honestly it's, it works the best and it's the cheapest avenue for you guys to do things, but it does connect on these other avenues too. Then at the bottom, you see email services. Couple of things. You have a kw.com email address for using your day to day. When you start utilizing command to actually structure, okay, uh, for Kingstown, you will reach out to Drew or Chris Upham. So your PC coach or your team leader for Kingstown. Um, command email. When an automatic email goes out from command, there's actually an email system built into this that's not public for you, right? Or for your consumers. So it actually looks something like this. Uh, agent, then my KWID number, dot mail, dot KW dot com. And that's how the system tracks campaign emails, smart plan emails, and triggers, okay, to send things out from the system. Underneath that, what you need to do is configure this and manage this at, and set up in a reply to email, which should be your KW email or whatever you're using for your day-to-day -day business. So if your consumers receive an email out from command to them, and we'll talk to this more in campaigns and smart plays, but they receive an email from command on your behalf. If they click reply, the reply email will go to your KW email. Okay. And the reason I say use your KW email or whatever email is connected through that Gmail connector is important because then it'll track that reply to email that came back as well. So you want everything to talk to each other. Now, I know somebody just asked about MailChimp and yes, you can connect MailChimp, but essentially command email works just like MailChimp. You create and configure lists and you have up to 5,000 emails a month that you can send. If you need more than that, okay, you can add on top of that, right? 5,000 emails is quite a bit, but I know for some people that have got 15,000 people in the database, they may need to do more, right? So you can add more emails, but I don't cover email or MailChimp connectors because command email does all of that at this point. But if that's something you want to do, you certainly can connect that account. Okay, messaging for Twilio. Twilio, is your broadcast text messaging system that is built inside a command. OK, 
okay? So you can text your clients from your phone. That's perfectly fine. Those text messages are not tracked inside of command. Inside of commands, smart plans, and we'll get into more detail with that. It can text them directly on your behalf through this. So I think this is like a Google voice number, but specifically for texting through command, okay? It is a third-party plugin. It's not a command tool. It is a plugin. It is a partnership, okay? So when you actually commit and subscribe in the marketplace, one, you'll create an account. Two, you'll choose a phone number, right? There's not an unlimited supply of local phone numbers. So you may have to be flexible on whether you're 703, 571, 202, right? Whatever your area code is, 703 is in the highest amount of demand. So they're not always readily available until somebody lets one go. So you may have to be flexible around what you choose. Once you connect and choose a phone number, you have to pick a subscription. It's, relative, it's incredibly inexpensive. So for 300 text messages a month, I think it's $3. For 1,500 text messages a month, it's $11. Okay, now understand there's a difference between a text message, which is 160 characters, some of you like to send email, which basically is really long text messages. So you'll get charged two credits, right? It's not, those are a 10th of a penny each one, but you'll get a double charge if you send a really lengthy text message, okay? And if you send what's called an MMS, which is multimedia, which means I send a link, I send a video, maybe attached even an emoji, right? Those are multimedia and that's an additional charge or credit that goes against your credits. So when I said 300 text messages, it's really 300 credits. And those credits are applied depending on what you sent. Now, when you send bulk messaging through the system, which we will cover, it will tell you, hey, you're about to, spend, you're about to send 300 messages and it's going to use this many credits. You may need to increase your credit a lot. Also, when you set this up, you have the ability to choose call forwarding, right? So if people are receiving text messages from you that are not from your phone, first you want to notify people, hey, just so you know, I have a business texting messaging service that I use. So that may recognize, and so you recognize that number. If they try to call that number, which they will do, Twilio will call forward that to whatever phone number you tell it to forward to. They charge a couple of credits for that. And it's all based on how many minutes you're on the phone with them. I do recommend that you configure that. And I do not recommend that if somebody, if you receive one of those calls, they say, hey, can I call you back? Because you may not get a hold of them again, right? Especially if it's somebody you don't know. Again, it's relatively inexpensive to use some of those credits to connect and talk, call, talk to somebody that went through the Twilio connection. So I want to minimize here. I want to make sure I covered all of my points here. And then we'll kind of go through any of these additional questions. So we went through applets, we went through the dashboard, we went through two profiles, we talked through all these settings here. We covered all the help of what everything is accessible to you inside of command. Um, I'm gonna cover this tomorrow, but know that you could do this in the meantime. There are three apps that you could download on your phone. One is called Kelly, K-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E. okay? So Kelly was KW's first version, okay? of a mobile app for you, the agents. Kelly is being replaced for something we're gonna call Command Mobile. So Kelly right now doesn't do everything we want it to do, okay? And there are no resources being applied to her right now because she's being sunset. So think of Kelly as this, she's your pager. So if a consumer reaches out to you through one of your website or your mobile app or through uh, your multimedia, uh, some, sorry, your monthly neighborhood nurture, which is a smart plan, You'll receive a notification. That notification comes to your phone through the Kelly app, through a push notification. If you don't have that turned on, you won't see those. Okay, so I do recommend you do that. Command mobile is in development, but here's a workaround, what I recommend that you all do. You open up Chrome on your phone. Go to agent.kw.com and log in. Bookmark it to your phone and add it to your home screen. It'll create a shortcut for you on your phone. And essentially it functions very similarly like a mobile app would function. And you can log right into command and do a lot of the command things from your phone. And you can check notifications inside a command. 
It won't push notify you yet because the app's through Kelly. But if you regularly check in on command through your phone because you're out in the field all the time, this is a great way to do that. So it's a workaround. You're creating your own app, okay? Third, KW Realty app. Now we will talk more about this when we get into the consumer, but here's what you need to know. You need to go into your store and download the KW mobile app. The KW mobile app is a consumer centric app. It does not know that you are you. It does not know that you are the realtor. So when you create an account, what I encourage you to do is create an account that's not you. Don't use your KW email. Like mine is created under my son, right? So I can kind of separate it and play around with it and get use of it like my consumers would use it, okay? There's no login for you on the mobile app because you're the realtor. So when you download the app, it's gonna treat you like a consumer, all right? So that's why I said there's no agent access here. Anything that your consumer does on the mobile app, and we'll go into this more detail, is tracked inside a command at your contact card level. They're looking at searching properties. If they're earmarking, benchmarking things, they'll have the ability to do that. All right, so, so we wrap up and I will, we ran a minute long, but I will stay for questions. The rest of the training, this is the slide for the next two weeks. Tomorrow we'll go into contacts, Wednesday smart plans, Thursday opportunities. Same link every single day. Um, Derek, can you mute yourself? Derek, 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 mute yourself, buddy. We're gonna have a lot of feedback. Um, all right. So, all right, so closing questions. So now I will stop sharing my screen. And I am here, and you guys may drop and go. I will post this recording to the YouTube channel and to the Facebook page when we're done. Uh, it usually takes me a little time for that to process and get uploaded, but we'll get it to him. We'll put out our notification. Uh, Ted, Jerry, Derek, uh, I keep saying Jerry, Jerry's out here. Ted, you're here for Jerry. I know that. Any questions that I missed or does anybody have a question? Um, try to raise your hand so we don't have everybody talking at the same time and I will, I will answer them all. I will stick on the line and, and answer them. I just wanted to, uh, Victoria also with uh, uh, Fairfax. I just want to ask double question, uh, double check with this applications. Uh, is Kelly is the one that uh, KW in white and with a blue background, and uh, yes, Mr. William is the white background and KW is red, right? You're spot on. Kelly is K E L L E. She's got a blue green background, and your KW consumer app will be red with a. Uh, or white. white, white background with a red KW. Thank you. Matt Caudill, I saw your hand go up. Yes, sir, real quick. I've been, uh, since we switched to um, KW United, is our market center now uh, KW United 949 instead of KWR 30? Uh, is, you, is your KWR 30 is your broker? Okay, but the market center is 949. That's the market center number. That's just a KW number. That's not. Okay. That's that not an outward facing number. Now that's a KW. So there's every time a KW creates a new market center, it's assigned a number inside the KW universe. All right, I just wanted to make sure. All right. Yeah, I thought uh, KW the yeah, 949 yeah. was in house. The KWR 30s. Yeah. So basically, your market center number means that was the number like 949 means we were the 949th market center that was created. That's what that means. That's KW only. Thank you. Sure. Well, any other questions? Amir. Actually, I got it, but just going to make sure. Uh, the recording classes. Can you, Amir, I'm ha you're a little far away from your microphone there, buddy. Can you hear me now? I can, but you're echoing very loud. I'm just asking the recording class should be on the YouTube or should be on the KW Connect as well as other recording training class? Uh, the class will go to the regional YouTube channel. If I heard that question, I'll post it in the Facebook group too. It won't be on Connect, it'll be in the regional, it's a regional recording. Yes, please, Father, thank you. Uh, Gail. Hey, it's Gailey. Uh Gailey, sorry. No worries, no worries. A quick question. I missed how you make the shortcut on your phone. I missed that. Can you just go over that real quick? Yeah. So on your phone, log into Chrome, mm -hmm. right, as your browser. Uh -huh. Go and then log in like you would on your desktop, agent.kw.com. 
Okay, log in credentials. And then different phones are a little bit different, but basically if you hold down or click the three dots on your phone, you can create a hot button and add it to your home screen on your phone. Got it, thank you. You got it. Um, I think there was a question about accessing KW email. Did I see that right? So basically if you go to gmail.com and you log in and the first time you log in, it'll ask you for your Gmail email, that's your KW email. David Donaldson at kw.com and then whatever, and then it's going to say password and whatever password I created to go along with that will get me into my e KW email. Hey, David, I did yes, see sir. one question in there um, for the market center. I think it's 548 that doesn't have an MCTT right now. Yeah. Who should they reach out to? for um, until they get an MCTT? They should talk to Drew Swirsky or uh, Chris Apple, which is their uh, director of production or their team leader. And if they can't get a hold of you then, they can, they can email me, David Donaldson at kw.com. Any other questions? I wanna make sure I got everybody. We're a couple minutes long, but um, as we wrap up, I try to... This is going to be the longer class of everything for the most part, depending on the number of questions. But if, if there are no other outstanding questions, you are all free to go and play in the snow. But be safe out there. One of my good friends took a slip and fall today and got a concussion. So if you don't have to be out there, please don't. Icy road conditions are not a good combination, especially on main roads might be okay, but the, uh, the neighborhoods can be a bit of a mess. I have a question. I got a quick question. How do we get access to these slides? Um, I will post them. I got to I got to strip them down a little bit because I have like 70 slides that I built up the entire program at once. So I'll have to kind of scale them down and I'll make them available in the Facebook group. OK, great. Thank it may not be today. <laughs> OK, uh, but I will I will work on that. Thank you. Of course. There was another question. I thought I had dueling questions at the same time there. Maybe that was the same answer for both. No, I actually have a question. So whenever I try to access my website, it redirects me saying that it's not available. Who do I email for help with that? Your market center check center. What market center are you in? 949. That's, that's me. Okay. <laughs> email David Donaldson at KW. And it just might not be configured yet. Okay. Thank you. Uh-huh. All right, so if that is it. One, one quick question, sorry, I'm trying to download this KW Connect on my phone and I'm in, but how do I save it again? I used it something about three dots, but I don't. It, it depends on your phone, right? So if you hold your thumb down typically on top of it, you can, it'll prompt you to like add to your home screen or something like that. For an iPhone? Uh, I, yeah, I'm not an iPhone user. That's why I say it's gonna vary by um, device. If you say, but it's on uh, here that uses iPhone that can talk quickly to. All right. So, yeah, I got you, David. Um, all right. So what you're going to do is when you're on the web page, like pull a uh, command on your web browser, then you're going to hit like the share button where you would share that website. And like, there's like a message or something like that. And if you scroll down, you should see add to home screen up there. Yeah. You That's should be able to add it down. Really, yeah, so basically I hit the three dots in the domain, which is the same for PC. With PC, you can hold down, I'm sorry, Android, and it creates that. But you can also click add to home screen on the three dots from that browser, like Tab was referencing, and right below that says add to home screen. All right, so tomorrow, 10 o'clock, we will cover, we will take a dive into contacts. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, David. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye.